Hello, you have reached Celia Frost at the London Refugee Relief Centre. No one is available to take your call, but please feel free to leave a message after the tone. Hey Celia, it's Dale. Where are you? I thought you were meeting me. I just landed at Heathrow. Anyways, to get this message, stay put. I'm grabbing a cab and should be by your place by two. Best-selling American spy novelist Dale Salverson can't wait to reach London, where she's giving the keynote address at a writers' conference and meeting up with her best friend from college, Celia Frost. But once Dale arrives in London, Celia's neighbour delivers some shocking news. Celia's dead? How? The police reckon she jumped off Waterloo Bridge. They found her car there with a suicide note inside. They've yet to find her body. There's no body? Dale vows to find out what happened to Celia. But hampering her efforts is Detective Constable Andrea Calloway, who claims Celia profited financially from her work rescuing trafficked women and girls. Have a look. That's Asha at age 13, before her virginity was sold for 150 pounds. This is what she looks like now. Here we have Tatiana from Moldova, seven years old. Lovely, isn't she? Or at least she used to be. The pedophiles claim Moldova has Europe's prettiest children. This is what happens to those called trying to escape. It sends a message, keeps the other girls in line. The man responsible for this particular atrocity is Milan Gagorovich. He's the taller of the two men pictured here. The one standing beside Celia. Dale refuses to believe Calloway's accusations and continues investigating on her own. But the deeper Dale digs, the more questions emerge. Will Dale still grieving the loss of her infant son, risk her own life to discover the truth about the friend she only thought she knew. <coughs> Searching for Celia, the new mystery thriller by Elizabeth Ridley, published by Bold Strokes Books.